Hi everyone, I'm here today to talk about end papers, and end papers are one of my very favourite aspects of book design. End papers are the pieces of paper that are glued on the inside of a hardback book. So, we've got a book like this. This piece is actually glued, I don't know how well that will show up, but it's glued over the board of the hardback and also into the spine there, and then that is separate to the main text block. Hopefully that will show up all right. So many end papers are just like these ones, they're plain and they are simply there as a function of the book. Sometimes, and this is where it gets exciting, this will be decorated and so I'm going to show you some exciting examples of this. It will be no surprise to anyone that this is one of my examples because it is one of my absolute favourites. So of course it's The Grace Keepers by Kirstie Logan. These are the end papers and end papers are a wonderful place to put a map and in fact I have some other examples which I will share here. We've got another map here. It's also a great place to have sort of topographical drawings or drawings of the setting in general. In fact the hardcover edition of the Luminaries has beautiful end papers. Unfortunately I don't have that with me but it's it's an ink drawing of Hokitika which is where it's set. I think the reason that I love end papers so much is that they can really provide that element of surprise which is something that I think that the best designs do. And by this I mean something that the reader doesn't expect that you don't see from picking up the cover and looking at it straight away. Now sometimes that element of surprise can be something hidden on the cover but I think one of the most effective ways of doing this is to have something inside the, those pages. So whether that's really highly decorated end papers, sometimes it's just plain end papers that are a bright colour that tie in with, with the cover somehow. But my favourite ones are the ones that are really lavishly illustrated and I think that this can be most effective when you have a really plain cover like this one here and then on the inside it has something truly spectacular. It's something that requires both a bit more thought and a bit more money on the part of the publisher, but I think that it's something that's really, really worthwhile, especially in the age of ebooks. Making books as really beautiful objects is, I think, in publishers' best interests. And that's why we've seen this increase of really beautiful hardback books in the last few years. Now, end papers aren't just for hardbacks. Sometimes you have special editions of paperbacks where there are French flaps, and sometimes you don't have French flaps, but I find most often you see this with the French flap, and it's just printed on the inside of the cover. So they're not quite end papers because it's not glued in the same way, but it has that same effect. And what I really love about these Jane Austen ones is that they are all patterned on the outside and then the end papers of one will correspond with the out pages of the other. And I just think that's a really nice touch, especially if you've collected all of these books. So there we are. Those were some beautiful end papers that I found and wanted to share with you. So I hope you enjoyed this little video about end papers. If you have any lovely examples that you would like to share with me then you can tweet at me. I am at Holly Dunn Design. I'm also at Holly Dunn Design on Instagram and Pinterest and if you want to look at my book design work I am hollydundesign.com on the interwebs. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!